Hi, this is Denise with Paper Crafty, and it is week one of Flamingo Fridays. Today we're going to be combining day one of Kara's collaboration kit with day one of Julie's collaboration kit, and we're going to make a project. So let's get started. Okay, so I am always needing um, more traveler's notebooks uh, to insert into projects because I like to do um, a lot of traveler's notebook style um, junk journals. Uh, and I, they're just really easy and portable um, to take around with you if you want to do any note taking um, or journaling. So. And I have a ton of these of envelopes. So I decided to get two envelopes that were the same size um, that would that I could use for uh, a traveler's notebook. Um, these are all ready. Now standard uh, traveler's notebooks are four and a quarter by eight and a half. These are already pretty much four and a quarter. So I think the width is good on these. Um, but they are about an inch bigger than I need them to be. Okay, so I want to take an inch off. And I think I'm going to put them together. I could do it this way, but I think I kind of want to do it. Um, I think I want to do it this way. So this is like that. And that is like that, and then it opens up like this. Uh, but I want to take an inch off of this end of each of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, take an inch off. Um, and then I'm going to uh, collage over these uh, to kind of, you know, get... The design that I want. Okay, so I just took an inch off the top of each of these. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one for the front. I'm going to turn this one over and use this for the back. And I'm going to have a pocket in the top of this one. Uh, this one's going to be a side pocket, so I'm just going to close this bottom one up. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue these together like this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down before um, I start collaging. I think it'll just make things a little bit easier. So I'm just gluing down the envelope flaps and being careful not to accidentally glue down uh, or block somehow the openings where I want there to be pockets. Um, I'm using a uh, glue stick and then going around the edges with Fabri-Tac. Okay, so I like to reinforce the seam uh, with some seam binding. Um, I used to do it with um, cheesecloth, but I got this idea from Marcy Davis. I thought it was brilliant because, you know, I've got a ton of this stuff. I think I bought this thing like 10 years ago. <laughs> I don't know if I can use the whole thing in my lifetime, honestly. Um, and it's like kind of the perfect width and it's easy to, to use. So yeah, very, very happy with this. Why is this top so much more? Oh yeah, that's because it's, that's right, we cut off the bottom of this, didn't we? This is the front, so I want this to hang down like that. So I'm gonna go like 
this and like that. Is that long enough? Maybe. Maybe I want it even longer. So I'm just reinforcing the fold with some seam binding and I'm gluing that down with Fabri-Tac. I decided to go ahead and do both sides and leave some overhang to use as a bookmark. Okay. All right, perfect. I love that. So I hardly ever pull out my trimmer anymore to take off the uh, white border on my printables. I really like the texture that it adds uh, when just using my ruler and it's easy just to measure uh, roughly uh, the paper and then also tear it to size. Um, I am now going around the window. I've inserted th that piece of paper inside the envelope and I'm going around the window with uh, my bone folder and I was just trying to leave an impression but actually very faintly it uh, transferred some of the ink from the inside of the envelope. Then I'm just using my straight edge to cut out uh, the window shape and that gave me a pretty accurate uh, cut out. Cool. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to take my little distressor and kind of just go around the edges here. It'll kind of all the edges will be a little more distressed so then it won't be quite so blatant that it was cut. Kind of got to be careful on this one so it doesn't tear. I kind of like that rough edge look. on this puppy. Mm, I think I'll just go with my old standby of gathered twigs because I think it'll kind of blend these two. These are more aged looking than these so it'll make this a little bit more agey. So I'm adding some ink to the inside of that window cutout uh, because it's pretty much impossible to add the ink after uh, it's been glued down. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. I'm just going to burnish that down. Okay. 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 Like that. So I'm just doing the same thing on this back cover, um, cutting out that uh, window. Okay, I've got my distressor. And again, just adding ink and then gluing it down. Uh, I'm using glue stick and uh, Fabri-Tac along the edges again. Okay, this didn't really need it much.
Very good. Gluing this printable over the top of the envelope, I was able to get a centered uh, opening. And I'm just cutting off the excess uh, envelope underneath there, uh, roughing it up with the distressing tool, and then adding some ink uh, because that's hard to do once um, the envelope is glued down. Now I'm just adding some uh, lace to the bottom there because remember those bottom edges are open. So I am just creating like a little uh, closure. Oh, it's going to fold over the bottom of the envelope um, to close that bottom edge and then it'll make a little um, pocket. Hmm. Okay, I could do it like that. Alright, so I really like the way this uh, cover is turning out so far. This is for a little uh, traveler's notebook that I can insert uh, into a larger uh, uh, folio, something like that. Um, or even, you know, another journal, if I make a journal, you know, about this size. So now I have these... Um, other little pieces here uh, from the kit. There's lots of little, these couple little tiny pieces. Uh, I've got these. I just tore these out of this sheet just to give them kind of a rough edge, inked them up. And I have this that I cut out of the back, which, you know, you can't even tell that there was a bird there, so I can just, you know, use this somewhere. Um, this is a little more awkward to use that portion anyway because it has the legs uh, I could you know glue this into the interior of the uh, envelope if I wanted to you know just kind of put it in inside so that when you when it's there's no tag in it you see the whole picture but I really kind of like this pattern it it's very um, reminiscent of kind of like a, a bamboo kind of tiki uh, pattern. So I, I, I really like that. I kind of want to keep that. So I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. I've got a couple of these pieces of envelope uh, that I cut off of the, the tops that I can use somewhere in the album if I want to. I could have sewn along the edges um, of these papers before I adhered them to the envelope, and that would have been actually really cool, but I didn't, so um, I'm good with that for this time around. I think just keeping it a little bit easier and simpler. I could have done the same thing here and you know here and then on the back. Um, add a little bit more texture, but I, I actually kind of like it the way it is, so I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. Uh, for the moment. Um, don't feel like it needs uh, anything else right now. So yeah. Um, the only thing that I kind of would like to do is put a pocket here onto the front. And I was kind of debating between that one and this one. I think I'm going to go with this one, but it, it, there's not enough contrast between this and the background. So I want to use something as like a, to kind of uh, frame it a little bit, um, to mat it. So I'm thinking of, of this, um, and then just creating a pocket with that. So I'm going to go ahead and 
use my pinking shears, if I can find them, uh, to cut this other side. And I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, I think that's going to work right there. I could actually make this into a double pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on three sides on top of here. And then I'll glue this on three sides on top of there. Okay, so for this, I'm just using art glitter glue because I can get a really nice, uh, fine line of glue. Just makes for a little bit bigger, a uh, little more room in the pocket itself. I like that. That looks cute. I like a little bit of the color peeking out of the bottom and I like that it's got some texture on the sides okay so I really want to put something in here this is about the right size but these these flowers well, I guess well, they kind of echo those I was thinking of maybe putting that over the top but I don't want to cover all of that so maybe I will just add little guy like that that would be cute i have to do something to back that a little bit yes i really like that there um and i think i'm gonna make this into a little uh writing tablet okay so i'm gonna do that off camera and then i'll show you what i come up with so i'm just backing this bird with some uh music paper uh it will provide some contrast against the dark green and uh, it adds a lot of texture because I'm roughing up and rolling the edges. Okay and then I have some uh, cut off papers from another project so I think those will work in there. So those will be kind of fun. Let's see I'm gonna kind of stagger them a little bit. Let's see. backing now I think this will work just fine it's part of a file folder oh gotta put something on the back of that I guess so now I'm just measuring this file folder um, so that it's the right height uh, and then cutting it trimming it down so that I can staple those uh, journaling pages into it and then glue the front uh, the printable to the front and then I'm trimming off the papers so that they have a nice waterfall effect okay so that kind of waterfalls that looks cute so I just wanted to cover up this printing on the back of the file folder um, so I ended up using uh, Julie's printable and made a little pocket out of it by gluing it with art glitter glue on three sides and I'm adding some little tags in there and then I'm collaging over the uh, top inside uh, flap adding a uh, little ticket as a um, like a handle uh, on there and um, just playing around with making the inside pretty all right so I have some of this um tape here from Ms. Sparkle and Co. Okay, I'm just going to put it over these um, staples in the back because I don't really like those um, being rough. So I'm also adding some tape uh, to the uh, rough uh, inside staples on the interior of the inside cover, and I'm going to be doing more collaging. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way this cover is turning out for this little uh, traveler's notebook insert. I've got this cover here, the front with a pocket inside here like that. Uh, I've got the inside cover here 
and this has a little pocket in there. I've got a uh, ribbon bookmark. Got a side pocket in the outside cover. I've got this little notebook that I can put in this little uh, fabric pocket right here. And it's got a little tab to open it. And I just added um, some little pieces of fabric and lace um, and another piece of this uh, file folder just to layer it up and give it a little bit more texture and interest. Um, it's got this waterfall kind of uh, paper in here so that you have lots of room for journaling. And then on the back, it's got this little pocket in here with some tags, which I can decorate later if I want, or I can leave them as it is. It goes in there like that. And then it closes up and we've got this back cover. And this, I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, push down or even trim or use as a separate pocket. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I had very little waste. I just have this little piece here that I can use elsewhere. I've got this little scrap. I've got this little piece here and then a couple pieces of envelope that I might use somewhere else in the album at some point. All right, so that is my day one project. I hope you like it, and um, I hope that it gives you some ideas on things you can do for your own project. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Flamingo Friday. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you come back every Friday in the month of August to see what new project we have for you. I'm going to be listing all of the YouTube and Instagram accounts of all the flamingos in the description box below. Please check them out. Uh, there's lots of ideas and inspiration from them uh, every week uh, to, sh to, to help you find ways to use these collaboration kits in your own projects. I'm also going to provide the links for Kara's and Julie's collaboration kits, as well as their companion kits in the description box below. So check those out. Um, and I hope that uh, you play along with us. Uh, if you do, please use the hashtag Flamingo Fridays 2022 so we can find you and give you some love. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and uh, let me know if you're playing along. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is Denise with Paper Crafty and Craft On.